my lover thrust his hand through the hole and my feelings were stirred for him. Song of Solomon chapter 5 verse 4 Knocking was not enough, for my heart was too full of sleep, too cold and ungrateful to answer the door. But the touch of his effectual grace has made my soul bestir itself. Think of the long suffering of my beloved to tarry when he found himself shut out and me asleep on the bed of sloth. Oh, the greatness of his patience to knock and knock again, and to add his voice to his knockings, beseeching me to open the door for him. How could I have refused him? O oh, base heart, blush and be confounded. But what greatest kindness of all is this, that he becomes his own porter and unbars the door himself. Thrice blessed is the hand which condescends to lift the latch and turn the key. Now I see that nothing but my Lord's own power can save such a naughty mass of wickedness as I am. Laws fail, even the gospel has no effect upon me until his hand is outstretched. Now also I perceive that his hand is good where all else is unsuccessful. He can open when nothing else will. Blessed be his name. I feel his gracious presence even now. Well, may my bowels move for him, when I think of all that he has suffered for me, and all of my ungenerous return. I have allowed my affections to wander. I have set up rivals. I have surely grieved him. Sweetest and dearest of all, beloveds, I have treated you as an unfaithful wife treats her husband. O oh, my cruel sins, my cruel self, what can I do? Tears are but a poor show of my repentance. My whole heart boils with indignation at myself. Wretch that I am to treat my Lord, my all in all, my exceeding great joy as though he were but a stranger. Lord Jesus, you forgive freely, but this is not enough. Prevent my unfaithfulness in the future. Kiss away those tears, purge my heart, and bind it with sevenfold cords to yourself, that it may never more wander. Amen.